Mauotinen, please welcome. And those of you from other countries who don't know this man, he's all known to us, but when about in the 70s, it, how, how much is his time till the 70s? It's, it, it's over 30 years, it's almost oh, 40. 40. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. I was meeting my girlfriend in Albertin Katu, yeah. and I had to leave the house always at 9 o'clock because the mother said that I cannot stay later. <laughs> my girlfriend was very young, <laughs> and then so I, went, <laughs> I went to the 14 bus, bus stay, stop, and I looked at this profile and who is this man i always looked he was standing there waiting for the same bus and i didn't know that we would stand like this one <laughs> interviewing you <laughs> for talking and and besides we have done work also together which has been really refreshing and and nice but but this is about crossing borders so based on a very strong classical school, schooling, like all the instrumentalists know, so know all the dancers, and the work starts very early uh, when you are young and you have to be meticulous all the time, do your exercises, otherwise you lose it and you cannot do it anymore. We do it many players with the fingers and the mouth and, or, and, and you do it with the whole body. But then comes of course, also they want to do something else, creative and find musicians, because the conductor can be very destructive to a ballet dancer, wrong tempi and broken ankles. But then, like you had a very long period of creating music with Matti and Pirjo Barristram, so, so then you become sort of a team uh, creating new stuff. Maybe you could say something, what, what, what was it that made you change your, or broaden your life as a dancer? Yeah, good evening everyone. Yeah, I started as a classical dancer in the National Ballet of Finland. And then in the middle of 1776 I met a, a lady called uh, Caroline Carson, who was directing the Groupe de Recherche Théâtrale de l'Opéra de Paris. And she invited me to, to join the company there. So I moved to Paris for five years and danced there and we traveled. So that really opened me the whole world. So that changed my view of seeing the movement, understanding the, the staging, understanding the different way to, to choreograph and different way of choreography. She was really a, a great help and for me. So that was one, you know, we need, we, everybody needs in a certain time of the career, you need people like that to guide you and to, to make you go forward. And she was really important for me. And then, of course, we know that you took the position as the uh, chief of the National Ballet and you have worked on this side. But then at some point you said 15 years ago you started singing. What happened? Well, uh, you know, being so many years already in the field of dance and doing choreo dancing everywhere and doing choreography and uh, directing the company, I came to the point that uh, also it was like the ending of my dancing career, myself, the dancing. So, and as a deep soul in me, I, I, I feel that I still wanted to perform and to go on performing and so I tried some songs with my pianist, Jari Hakkarainen, and I asked him to come and let's try some songs, you know, very, you know, step by step and song by song. So that, that's how it started. But, but it was really a deep need inside me that I have to go on performing and to keep that side of me going on. You know, and it's still there, you know, you know. I was just watching the movie Youth. Maybe some of people you have seen that movie. There's a conductor and there's a filmmaker. And the filmmaker makes the suicide and uh, the conductor goes on at the age of 80. So you have two choices. <laughs> <laughs> and I've always wondered that, is it true also in your opinion that the difference in a conductor's 
and the dancers moving job is that in our job we try to imitate a very strong power with a very light technique and you try to imitate the lightness of a feather with a very powerful technique. Well, that's in the classical ballet, that the illusion of the lightness is very important. But in the contemporary dance, we use the weight. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm now working on the piece called Jurt, the Earth, which is coming out in the National Ballet on the 19th of, the, of this month. And that piece is really working on the weight. Male dancers, the, the, the weight is there. So mm, there is an illusion of the lightness, but you also need to have weight because human body has weight. You want first to sing something with Yari alone, and then I, after that song I'll present our players and we do something, because you, you go to larger and larger and groups and you feel nervous. I know yeah. I conducted your first orchestra concert yeah. in Kuopio and Petri Ikkela was showing now, and I was showing now, and then you I thought, yes, <laughs> then you thought, Okay, now, and <laughs> but we waited for you. Yeah, yeah, but I love it. Yeah, because you, we always understand what you do. There's no problem.